So 50 years ago today, about eight, I think it was about 8.30 in the morning, uh, whatever, Greenwich time or whatever that is uh, in Scotland, Jim and I came to Europe with the book 50 uh, Europe on five dollars a day in our hand. Put the book away somewhere, I guess. Oh, I slipped off the couch there, yeah. And 50 years later, I'm still in Europe. 10 years ago, we bought this house, a ruins, basically a ruins. And the first three months, we worked like absolute fools. We wore ourselves out getting this floor, I'm on the second floor of the house, getting this floor finished. Karin plastered the walls. I put down oak floor planking. We painted everything, she plastered the ceilings. I repaired the electric wiring. Much of the hot, hot and cold water. And this house has become <laughs> our castle. It was a, an abbey, a home for an order of Catholic nuns. We bought it from the Catholic Church for very little money. The price we paid for it was about the price for the property it's on, the land that it's on, which is about um, 30,000 square feet. We've turned, or Karin basically has turned the garden into, a, into the Garden of Eden. And I have to say, we're very happy here. We're very happy together. We have a lovely dog and a wonderful cat. And I can't think of anywhere else at this time that I would like to be. A couple of years ago, I discovered YouTube. I discovered it many years ago, but I had the first idea of making my own, our own videos. I found out I could make a video with a little pocket camera I had. Made a few videos in this room, the very first video in this room, sitting on this sofa here. In the meantime, I've had some health problems. 74 years of age, you don't expect to uh, not have health problems. I've had my share. 11 years ago, I had a hip replacement. I had to have the hip replacement replaced this last year. Um, I did want to mention that any of you who have watched some of my older videos know that I had colon cancer two years ago. Um, just last week I went to the, uh, to, the, to the doctor and had a full exam again and seemed to be cancer free for which I'm extremely grateful. If, you, if any of you are in this situation it's possible to go on afterwards. The operation is not pleasant, but it's life-saving. And in my own case, with the little bit of chemotherapy that I made afterwards, that I did afterwards, um, it seems to have held the cancer at bay. One is never actually, one can never say one won the battle with cancer until one dies of some other cause. 
because you never know if it's going to return or not. But uh, at my age now, it's not a worry anymore. I've lived a very full life, as I guess you can tell from what I've said. I um, am very pleased with the way things have turned out, and I'm very thankful for the way things have turned out. I'm grateful to have a loving and caring wife who's a worker like almost no one else, who's a driven woman, when she starts working, I get out of her way as, as much as possible. And she takes good care of me, we take good care of each other. With, we try to be thoughtful with one another. We try to understand that each, each of us has our own problems to deal with. And we try not to blame. I think that's... Um, that's enough for today. It's a long video. You're going to have to uh, have a comfortable chair if you watched all of this. I have a comfortable chair. I think I've showed you this chair. It's a 150 year old desk chair that we had recaned last summer, I guess it was. No, it must have been last winter. In any case, it's a very nice chair. And we're going to have it in the library upstairs, in front of the old desk that we have, when we get the library done. So if this video sounds like life, and our house and our work here is finished, it isn't. We're going to be plodding along for some time yet. I've got some uh, video clips that I'm going to put together as a uh, kind of an update of the work that we've been doing in the last weeks. And there will be many, many more videos to come, the good Lord willing. We've got a lot of work to do, we have a lot to share. And at this time I want to thank those of you who watch. There's one person that I'm going to name by name that I've named before on my videos who I'm very thankful for having been a friend for, let's see, 50 years, 55 years, oh well, yeah, 55 years I guess. That's my friend Ray. who lives in Vermont, and he's an absolutely wonderful gentleman, and for whom I'm very thankful. He helped me through those difficult years, oftentimes. He served his country. He did a great deal of uh, interesting things in his life, and has been in interesting places, and has remained a true blue friend, Ray. Greetings to you, and I'm still going to send you this book. <laughs> I promised some months ago, or I didn't promise, but I said some months ago I would send him Europe on $5 a day because he came here at that time and visited us too. So that's the ramblings for 50 years of life. And 50 years in Europe. And I hope I'm not smug. I just feel very, very grateful for having made a decision long ago, or I don't even think it was a decision. Things just happen, and 
they happened such that I came to Europe and stayed here, met hundreds of wonderful people and have enjoyed being with them. Now in the last years with YouTube and in the last months with Facebook, I've met and re-met a number of people, all of you who I care for very much and enjoy sharing your and our lives together. Thank you very much for your support, for watching, for commenting, for subscribing, and for being friends. Cheerio.